Okay, this is a video I was excited to make because it caters to creators like myself, business owners, working professionals, students, and honestly, everyone. For a long time, a PDF document is seen as something that cannot be altered, edited, amongst other things. Even if you want to edit one, you need to convert it to a Word document, and sometimes it does not really pan out the way you want it to. UPDF reached out to me with their new AI Infuse software, and yes, I know AI is really the word for 2024, but this time, it actually works. Like, it really works. When using it for the first time two weeks ago, the first thing I tried was the new advanced AI assistant called UPDF AI that takes your PDF game to the next level. Within the chat mode, users can use three built-in prompts to summarize, translate, or explain difficult terms. You can also use the chat mode of UPDF to ask anything outside the document. You can also export the results, regenerate them, or give it feedback by liking or disliking it. Also, the Ask PDF mode lets users interact with their PDFs. For instance, you can let AI help you summarize a whole PDF document for you, or if you want to summarize, translate, or even explain a word directly in that PDF, you can select the content in the PDF and choose the prompts in the pop-up window. For example, this is one of the documents I read when I was still in school, and if I wanted to edit anything or ask it for an explanation, it would just give me such results for me to better understand what I'm looking at and just do better when I'm in class. This would have been an awesome feature when I was finishing my MBA last year or even my undergrad degree. I see this helping students navigate high level PDF documents they need to study or even understand. The UPDF software or application is not all about AI. It does the basics pretty well, like creating PDFs from almost every format known to man, like Word, Excel, GIFs, HTML, yes, it can create PDFs from an HTML file. You can also create a blank PDF if that is something you want to do. When I was younger, maybe five years ago, one of the biggest gripes I've had with PDF documents was when it came to editing them. You either had to go through many hoops or you had to pay a lot of money for it. So if I needed to edit this PDF contract, for example, it's not all applications that can do it. But with UPDF, you can edit a PDF document in almost every possible way. From editing the text size or the font color to aligning the text to right center, left or justified. Apart from text alterations, users can change the image in a PDF document. You just have to select the particular image that you want to take out and you can then rotate, crop, extract or even replace that image. You can also link a specific part to a website or a page in that document. Another feature that is useful or I found useful is their OCR feature. With this, you can edit image-based PDFs and not only that, it also becomes searchable. So it really gives you those two options so it is the best of both worlds. Now in the grand scheme of things, this is really a game changer. The icing on the cake though is that this OCR feature supports and then recognizes 38 languages, including Japanese. The next new UPDF feature is that you can create a fillable PDF form with text fields, checkboxes, drop-down lists, OK boxes, radio buttons, and even more. Also, if you have a non-fillable PDF and you want to convert it, you can use the form field recognition, which can convert your PDF into fillable PDF forms with just one click. Now, in order to check the changes, you can preview it by checking the preview button. Now, one of the best things about UPDF is how customizable the software is and how it enhances your experience. For instance, organizing PDF pages, it includes inserting or deleting pages from the PDF documents. You can also replace pages with others and afterwards you can extract them too. There's also the option of splitting and rotating the pages. And if there's anything you don't need on the page, you can use the crop feature to crop out unwanted parts. UPDF also enables its users to export PDF formats. And these formats include Word, PowerPoint, CSV, and many others to help simplify your document. You can protect your document by using the password feature, which enables you to lock your PDF documents and then protect others from opening it or accessing it, such as copying, texting, editing, or printing. And if you only want to remove some sort of sensitive information as opposed to locking the whole document, you can use the redact feature. It's pretty straightforward here and you can just block out simple and certain things that you don't want people to see. The batch process is another feature of UPDF that allows one to perform a particular task on multiple PDF documents. For instance, you can combine multiple PDFs into one single continuous PDF file. It also enables you to convert, export, encrypt, 
add batch numbers and print multiple PDFs at once. Apart from these features that UPDF offers, you only need one license that can be used on up to four devices. So if you have a MacBook, an iPad, an iPhone, and another device, it's work on all four with one single email. That goes for Windows laptops too. This is a feature you probably won't see on other PDF softwares. That also brings me to the cost. Now with these great AI features and whatnot, the price of UPDF is very budget friendly with a robust line of features that is very customer centric. You get all these features for a fraction of the cost. So this might as well be the only PDF software you need in your everyday life. If this is something that you're interested in now or in the future, click that link in my bio to get started. You can also download it for free to try it out. And if you absolutely love it, you can get a significant discount if you purchase the pro features with AI. Trust me, it is worth every penny. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is KJ and I'll catch you guys in the next one.